Well, as universities across the country close their doors and are switching to online classes for the remainder of the semester to minimize the spread of COVID-19, international students are left with a lot of uncertainty. Reporter Malak Katab tells us what BSU officials are doing. Bemidji State University has over 80 international students that come from roughly 38 different countries. And with the current situation rapidly changing, many are left in limbo. BSU's International Recruiting and International Programs Director Patrick Liu says the university is doing all they can to help and support its international students. So we send out an email, we send out also have the Zoom meeting, also my cell phone number is sent to several times to all the international students. Even though we are working remotely, and right now I'm in the office, you know, handling situations, you know, I, you know, issue paperwork to some of the students who need it now. So we're helping them. Over the weekend, students were ordered out of the dorms and sent home. Exceptions were made for international students. And some of these students have already left the Midji and others are planning to leave. They booked the ticket they found out that the flight is not available, you know, things like that. All kinds of situations. Some students may go in a week because all the classes are moving from on campus to online delivery. So. That won't affect them. You know, they can study anywhere mm -hmm. as long as they have internet access. But that's not the case for every international student. For a whole day semester, I'm staying here because I need some computer access and some technology access. Medina Banu Osmanova, an international art and design student from Uzbekistan, hasn't been home in a little over a year. As an international student in the United States, she's only allowed to work at the university. When our job stopped and we don't know what to do, where to work, where to get money, it's the hardest situation for us. My last paycheck will help me for, for this month and maybe for next month. But I'm thinking, you know, like like the further on months. It's been almost two weeks since school officials suspended classes at BSU. And with the widespread of COVID-19, it's uncertain how long schools will stay closed. Reporting in Bemidji, Malak Katab, Lakeland News. BSU international students can contact the university's international recruiting and international programs director if they have any questions. And that is... The last story for reporter Malak Katab here on Lakeland News. Malak is leaving us to take a job in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We wish her well and we will miss her stories and her sunny personality around our newsroom. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.